Hey there viewers and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. In the last set of videos we got betrayed by Captain Quark and you know what? We got a bit of a personality change. Screw the innocent people, screw the people of this planet, screw the general, screw Clank, screw everyone. We don't really care anymore. We are interested in the new weapon though, what's that? The Devastator for 10,000 or 2,000 short, so let's say we're gonna need to save up for that real quick. But since we're in this new personality chain, we're gonna say screw everyone on this planet, we're gonna go to a different planet first. Which planet you might ask? I think it's... Which planet is it? I think it might be, uh... No. Hey, what planet is it? Here we go. We are off to take the place of Skip McMarks. We're gonna talk to his agent and give him that one thing we got from that one race and see if we can get something new out of it. Planet Iridia. Yeah, screw the innocent people. You know, what I'm surprised about is the fact that Clank was actually willing to go to this planet instead of saving the people with the general. I mean, he was so hell-bent on saving those people that, you know, I would have expected him to maybe lock me on that one planet and refuse to start up the ship. Okay, there he is. We finally found him. Fantastic! You got it! Great work, kid. So, are you gonna represent me? You bet, kid. And as a signing bonus, I've got... this. Cool helmet! That is a sonic summoner. It is used to attract sand mice. Right, and it's all yours. <laughs> well, I'm off to finalize the paperwork. <laughs> I'll have my people call your people. Do you have people? The Sonic Summoner allows you to interact with the mysterious and intelligent sand mice species. Despite their innocent appearance, sand mice are very effective and aggressive hunters. Simply equip the Sonic Summoner when you are near a sand mouse house, and a mouse will emerge to greet you. If the mouse likes you, it may offer a bit of high-caliber tactical assistance. And what if it doesn't like me? That's the real question. Alright. Is there one nearby? I thought I saw one during the little cutscene. Here we go. So that's apparently a sand mouse. That doesn't look like a mouse or something from the sand. Whatever. Well, I guess we're kidnapping it. Why? I don't know. But we're kidnapping it nonetheless. Oh, there we go. We can... Nice. I actually think I like this sand mouse. But I don't think there's much else to do on this planet, so I guess it is time to go back and save the general. Let's see if that sun mouse actually follows us there. Now it should be noted that I've had about four or five beers in the past couple hours, so I might be a little bit tipsy, maybe a little bit drunk, I don't know. So my hand-eye coordination's probably gonna be a bit off. I may end up saying something stupid during the LP. I'm, I'm gonna make sure I try and edit everything in the post-editing though, make it at least coherent. Okay, we're back here. Sadly, we still have to save the general, despite the fact that we have this new attitude about not caring about anyone, including Clank. And we are 800 short of being able to buy the Devastator. So, let's go farm some coins real quick. Ow. That wasn't nice. Let's see, what can we equip real quick? No, not the Mind Glove. Let's do the uh, Pyrocider. That's always a lot of fun. Ow! Ooh, damn, we're down to one health. Not good at all. Don't ask how that missed me. I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, okay, we need to equip the uh, other thing, don't we? 
Let's see. Let's get rid of the Hydra Placer. We don't really need that. I'd say... We'd probably need... That right there. That. And... Ooh, almost. No, that's not gonna work. Let's try... No. Yeah, these are getting a little bit more difficult, aren't they? Still more fun, though. I'm pretty certain that it needs to be like that. And you right there, you're blocking it, so... Let's move you. Well, then you're blocking you. And that's the only thing. Okay, I think I got it. I got it. No, that's not gonna work. There we go. Got it. Yeah, these are taking a little bit more time, but they are still fun nonetheless. I'm enjoying them. And thank you to the viewer who recommended that one tip right there. Using the taunter to blow all those things up. Saves me bombs and saves me time. And just like that, we now have 10,000 coins. 10,000 spaceless sprockets. So we can afford the Devastator. Hi there, Buzzball. Hi there, Lizard Breath. Now we do need a place to put it, so let's get rid of the Glove of Doom. We don't really need that right now. Let's see how this thing works. Ooh, nice. I like it. Kind of like a homing missile. Okay, now that's a stronger homing missile. One I definitely need to avoid. Okay, I just saw that thing move. Come here. Get back here. Where'd you go? I saw you hide somewhere. Gotcha. Burn to ash. I'll save you for a few seconds later. Right now, I'm going in this little secret hidden place. Okay, you're next. Damn, another bomber. And I am very low on health, too. That kind of sucks. Yeah, that's not a good hiding spot. Pop back up. Come on. Fine, I'll get away from you. Give him enough time to pop back up. I am going to need some more health, though. Otherwise, I'm dead. Okay, that tree kind of looks suspicious. I thought for a second I could have done something with it. Ooh, not good. Okay, note to self. Avoid the river rapids. 
don't feel like dying just yet. Now the one thing that I hate about the pyro the pyrocitor is that it only does one damage at a time. You have to burn them, wait for them to extinguish, and then burn them again. So it's not a repetitive attack. It's only good on enemies who have one health. Oh my damn. Run, Ratchet. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Damn it. Yeah, I saw that one coming a mile away. <laughs> 